guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is a little different than what I already have on my channel this far but I'm so excited for this one just because I hope that this video can either shed light on you or for you or just kind of give you a little bit of hope um, whatever it may be I'm just excited to film this and I hope you guys enjoy so without further ado let's just jump right into it so the first topic I want to talk about is very near and dear to me just because it was so relevant in my life growing up I don't want to say that I was bullied because I think bullied is a very strong word but bullying can also mean so many different things and I don't think that because it wasn't the extreme amount that it's still not bullying like it's it could be a little thing and it could still be considered bullying I just felt like I was always the girl that was picked on growing up and yes growing up that was super hard but a few days ago I wish I would have heard like heard this quote so long ago but I just heard it the other day or I read it the other day and I don't know exactly how it goes but it basically just says that nobody doing better than you or happy in life is going to hate on you or judge you or make fun of you that just resonated with me so much because I know that whenever you're going through those things people always tell you oh whatever don't listen to them like they're just jealous but in the moment like it's really hard because obviously you're like okay this just sucks that I'm going through this right now that quote just makes so much sense to me because it's so true like you know what they say misery loves company and people that are unhappy with themselves or wherever they're at in life don't want to see you happy and in order to kind of make themselves feel better they almost feel like they have to bring you down to their level and happy successful people want other people around them to be happy and to succeed so I just am really glad that I heard that quote and honestly looking back at it I'm really thankful for being made fun of and bullied as I was growing up because honestly I don't think that I would be who I am today without it and I know that that's kind of a weird way to look at it but I think that that's the best way that you can look at it you know you can't control what happens to you in life but you can control how you respond and how you react to it and how you allow it to shape you and I'm very thankful that I had like good people around me and just like kind of a good mindset on that topic to kind of look at it in a way of yes this sucks right now but it's going to mean something later on down the road so honestly if you're watching this video right now and you were one of those people that made fun of me actually thank you because it really helped shape who i am today the second thing i want to touch base on is changing your perspective on failure growing up everyone including me has failures whether that be failed relationships friendships or even failing in a sport. I think failing at something is super important because failure allows you to grow as a person and learn so much if you allow it to. And that can kind of go into like anything. Like say you have a failed friendship, you know, after you're done kind of dealing with it and being sad, you know, you can look back and be like, all right, what happened in that friendship or what happened in that argument that ended the friendship and how can I grow from that and become better or handle it differently whenever it comes up again or same thing for relationships me personally like I had a very toxic relationship and it affects so many aspects of your life but I'm so thankful for it because honestly like if it weren't for that relationship I wouldn't have learned so much about the importance of respecting someone and hearing someone and having a place for their opinion so just like that relationship it sucked in the moment but if you can allow it to kind of give you a new perspective on how, how to handle things or how to even like change the way you react to things, it can help you grow so, so much. So that's why I think failure is just amazing. And I know that some people, you know, can learn from other people's mistakes. And to be honest, that was just like never me. I've always been the type where I'm like, you know what, I'm going to make the mistake because I want to grow from it. And I don't really think that it's bad either way I think that if you want to learn from other people's mistakes that's awesome but if you want to learn from your own mistakes that's cool too I think that as long as you're growing from your mistakes or relationships or failure you're okay like as long as you're gonna learn a lesson and it's gonna shape who you are you know do what you gotta do in order to grow as a person you have to make those mistakes and you have to fail at something in order to be good at it or to just become a better person or to even like allow it to teach you how to respond differently in the future Failure is all part of life and it's just part of the process. So honestly, all you can do is just trust it. This next one, I am so glad I learned from this because honestly, growing up, I struggled with this so much. Life keeps moving on. 
I know that in the moment whenever you're going through something it feels like oh my god like this is the end of the world I hate my life life's never gonna get better but trust me it does I was grounded a ton in high school and there were so many times whenever I didn't have my phone or I wasn't allowed to hang out with my friends or even be like able to go out with them or go to the concerts that they were going to and I'm not gonna lie like in that moment I felt like my life sucked life was over like I hated my life and looking back now I'm just like that's so pathetic and like such an awful mindset I understand because I've been there but in the grand scheme of things like it's such a short part of your life and if you can just allow it to help you and to shape you you're so much better off like Honestly, during that time, if you do get grounded or get your phone taken away or anything like that, or any time that you just are like being triggered and like feel like, you know, life sucks and life is over and, you know, you can't go up from here, take a deep breath. It's gonna be okay. Life keeps moving on. The next one I would say would just to be accepting of people. We're all guilty of judging people and making fun of people, including myself. And looking back, I just think it's so important to really take a chance to get to know somebody before you're judging them or making an assumption of them. And even once you've gotten to know them, it's important to remember that everyone's different and everyone has different likes and interests and dislikes even. And you know what? At the end of the day, they still deserve to be respected whether you agree with them or not. It's important to accept people and to just kind of be there for people. whether what you think they're doing is weird or stupid you don't have to agree with everything people do but as long as you just kind of accept it and you're like you know what i hope that works out for you or just to even like motivate them whether it be what they want to do with their life or what they are into it's just so important to accept people i think this world needs a lot of acceptance and just genuinely loving people and caring for them and just wanting the best for them and honestly if you can't do that for a person then i suggest you should just stay away last and certainly not least I want to end with the importance of being vulnerable with people or just having people to go to whenever life is not going well I just think it's so important to always have someone to talk to being alone with your thoughts can be very dangerous and just having that one person to kind of go to and genuinely be able to pour out your heart and whatever you're feeling and thinking whether that be a parent or even a counselor or just a friend you know feeling like you're alone or don't have anyone to go to or talk to is such a scary feeling and once you are able to open up with somebody and get stuff off your chest you just feel so much better i know that there's some things that are very hard to talk about but i think that whenever you find that person that you're like okay i think that i can open up to them and not feel judged or made fun of it's honestly such a reassuring feeling to know that you can just you have anyone to talk to or someone to talk to so with that being said because I wanted this video to shed some light on you guys or to just help you maybe see a light at the end of the tunnel um I am gonna be vulnerable to you guys in hopes that you guys can help me all right so sorry guys I had to refilm this part but like I said I want to be vulnerable with you guys and so something that I've always struggled with and I know that everyone struggles with is just insecurity but for me it's to the point where Say I'm out and about or I'm somewhere and I see just like someone that's really pretty. I'm like, oh my God, like I'm so ugly. I just instantly feel so less than. And you can hear quotes or people tell you all the time, oh my gosh, stop, you're beautiful or this, that, and the other. But I think that like you have to be able to grasp that yourself. You can tell me that a hundred times, but until I actually believe that and like am comfortable with who I am, it's never going to work. I know that there are a lot of people out there that whenever they feel jealous of someone, they in return are mean to them and just rude to them and talk badly about them or even make stuff up about them. And I've never been that way about it, but I'm more of the type to where the entire time I'll just be comparing myself. And so I'm sure I'm not the only one that struggles with this, but it's such a frustrating thing. And I've been in a situation where somebody has taken their insecurity out on me and I just never want to be the type to do that to someone. So if you guys have any advice on that, just like being comfortable and truly loving yourself and just not caring what people think, honestly, let me know. Or if there's even a book that you've read that's helped you kind of just feel more comfortable in your skin and just happier with who you are, let me know. 
All right, you guys, so that is the end of this video. I had such a fun time filming this, and I really hope that I could have given you some hope or just taught you how to look at something instead of the way that you are looking at it right now. If you guys like this, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.